I'm Cole Holstrom and I will be walking you through just a brief overview of the IGW lab system. We'll talk about its basic functionality and I'll show you a few of the cool bells and whistles. Okay, so uh, the IGW lab or integrated workstation um, is a manufacturing execution system um, that allows you to grab data at certain points um, so you can understand how material is flowing through your processes. Uh, obviously, you want to collect a lot of data at many different points so you can understand how your um, entire manufacturing process is running and to establish, you know, perhaps bottlenecks, things like that. Um, however, if you give a lot of tasks to the operators and they have to do a lot of data entry, either the quality of the data starts to suffer or things grind to a halt. Uh, so we designed the IGW with, with kind of the philosophy that you have to keep it simple for operators, otherwise they're not gonna do that. So what this allows us to do is it allows us to, again, collect this data at many different points so we can kind of understand how things are flowing through the system as a whole. Um, there's a lot of additional neat features um, such as maintenance and in calibration records that are all rolled into uh, different reports that you can print out. So at a glance, you can see that, okay, I have these items that are overdue that need to be addressed. Um, it also serves as a database for work instructions or SOPs. So every operator will have all the SOPs, work instructions, and MSDSs for any related process that they're currently doing. So using the IGW system, there is no longer any excuse that someone did not know how to do a certain task. All the related information is right there. Uh, the overall system works in a series of inputs and outputs. Uh, at every process, such as milling, decarb, extraction, um, anytime we, you are going to take a material and transform it into a different form, we call this a process. And at each process, you have an input, you have an output, what it gets turned into, and you potentially have waste. Output and waste obviously need to equal your input, otherwise the system is going to get very crabby at you. So I can log into IGW. Um, here's a dashboard which provides, uh, just at a glance, some interesting information um, for uh, managers. Along the left-hand side, there is basic ubiquitous functions, um, such as a barcode check. There's some other functions, such as a log waste function. If a container were to be damaged or something were to be spilled, uh, you can instantly log it and create it, have that information go in the system where it can be reviewed later. Um, but at the very least, it just accounts for that weight. Equipment is also stored in the IGW, uh, along with equipment notes, along with events that can be registered to that equipment. So you can register cleaning events, inspection events, repaired events. Uh, all of this stuff is very useful for, say, um, keeping an organic certification because at an instant you can get all the records of your equipment. You can see when it was last cleaned, what material has it's been used by. Uh, you can assign equipment to a specific user if you wanted to assign tasks. Reports is a lot of fun. Lots of different kinds of reports. Like I mentioned before, equipment overdue actions report, lot lists. There is a ton of customized ability. Uh, permissions and roles can be created for all operators. So you can remove or add certain permissions. Like for example, I, I mentioned waste earlier. Uh, we, this particular setup has that operators can record waste events. You could remove this from operators and only give it to someone say like operations management. That way, if anybody spills something, they won't be able to do anything about it until they have a manager look at it and in effect, sign off on that event. So there's a ton of control that you can apply to your different processes and your uh, personnel in order to, um, to control your management process the way you want it to be controlled. So this is an example of an in-process step. Uh, here we can see an input container. This is a milling step, by the way. Um, they have input these input containers. Their output are going to be these output containers. And here we have process parameters. Here, uh, this particular operation is massing out the seeds that do not get ground, any waste, in this case sticks, and also recording the job number. These process parameters are completely customizable. So if you wanted an operator to, for example, record like the humidity in a room every day, this can easily be added in. After a process is closed, uh, receipts are created. 
and this is spit out constantly. These can be emailed. It can be saved as a PDF, downloaded as a CSV, or printed out. So here we see there is a sampling event. It looks like the input container uh, was this container ID. It was CBD isolate. They took a sample. Uh, looks like they took a 20 gram, uh, nope, sorry, a four gram sample that then was sent to the lab to be analyzed. And we have executed instructions, all with timestamps, so everything that is done is captured. And since this was a sampling event, oh, and sign-offs, if, if required. Since this is a sampling event, this sample would go down to the lab, and if you have purchased the analytical station, uh, what you can do is you can actually print out your own C of A's. All of these test descriptions and all of these analytical tests are completely customizable. They were programmed in by this particular operation to look for these things. But if you wanted to do a screening for every kind of pesticide, you could enter them in here with action limits. Okay, so that was, that was an extremely short elevator speech presentation of the IGW. We barely, barely scratched the surface on what can be done. Um, storage conditions, locations, I talked about roles and permissions, packaging degrees, strains, formulations is another huge thing that I didn't even discuss, but formulations that uh, generate um, batch records as, as beholden to the master manufacturing records, so all of that paperwork is done for you. Um, there's some QA features that are pretty neat. It's a very complex system with a high degree of customizability, um, but hopefully that gives you uh, an idea uh, or at least enough to be interested. Thank you.